Keith McGill. That's, you couldn't find anything wider to twitch? Oh, wait, this audience. Okay. That's... Oh, y'all know y'all white. Shut up. It's not a surprise to you, sir. You are Caucasian. I'm like a chocolate chip in a bowl of oatmeal. A lot of white people, I'm saying. Tell you about... Okay, good job. Tell you about me. Uh, right off the bat, I'm saying 54 years old and have to pee right now. That's the shit. <laughs> that's bullshit. You know what I'm talking about, oh man, you know, but you gotta pee right, go ahead, go pee, I'll wait for you. Go ahead, no, that's fine, I'll hold the show for you because it's gonna be another, you know, six, seven minutes, you won't have time. <laughs> right, that's bullshit. How old are you, right here, how old are you? 21. 21, when's the last time you peed? I told you, look at it, get the fuck out. <laughs> pee all the time, I have to find out where the restrooms are when you come into place, that's the first thing I have to do, I have to figure out where the restroom is, thank God it's right there. And it's clearly marked with an M and a W. Unless somebody turns some shit upside down and then I'm trans. I don't know what happened. <laughs> right? And once you find a the restroom, then, you know, I mean, I've been to restaurants where it's like they try to play a trick on you. I went to one place that was XX on one door and XY, like chromosomes. I don't know which ones I had. <laughs> I don't want to have to be a geneticist to pee. <laughs> have to navigate all this shit in the bathroom. It used to be they would just have water, said hot and cold, and then you would just get the soap, and you wash your hand, and you wash your hand, and there's a stack of paper towels, you take about 16, 17 of them, dry your hands. <laughs> now it's all confusing, you have to flip the knob up or whatever on the water, the soap. You ever walk in the bathroom, you can't find the soap? Because it's in that little secret place where you have to like get the laser to hit you just right so you can clean your hand. You have to like entice the soap. Like, is, this, I, is, is this what you like, soap? <laughs> Who's your daddy, soap? I don't know what to do. I didn't plan to date Palm Olive, but evidently it's on. Paper towels, you gotta navigate that shit. Right, like I said, you should just be a stack. Now it's all different. Right, you go in a place, right, you have to sometimes, you know, you, this, you pull it out and that's fine. I'm all right with that, pull it out one at a time. Whoa. Sometimes you have to put your hand under and get it to like come out, right? And then you have to say like the special chant. You get, you have to be like, all great bounty viva, Kimberly Clark, Ronnie, please bring unto me the drying implements. <laughs> Sometimes they don't even have paper towel, right? Sometimes they have a dryer, right? And it's set on two settings. It's either like, um, it blows so hard you can see your muscles. <laughs> right? like, I didn't know I had this many bones in my hand. <laughs> and then the other one is it just kind of whispers at you. You put your hand up, hit the little button, boom, boom. <laughs> Wipe your hands on your pants. You don't have time. And I have time. I'm 54. People start start asking me how old I am because I don't look my age. Like, how old are you, old man? Like, I'm 54. Like, 54. How old is that? It's like old enough to wear a coat in the winter, dumbass. That's how old I am. <laughs> now I get words like spry. Young people, nobody ever says you're spry. <laughs> They're just trying to be nice. All they say is, sit your ass down, old man. That's all that means. And then the other thing is, you can't be pissed off when you're older. You gotta be feisty. <laughs> My grandpa is feisty. Which is just old people for asshole. <laughs> so somebody calls you spry and feisty, they just say, sit down, asshole. That's all they're saying. <laughs> That's not right. That's right. I try to work out. You work out. Look at you. You work out, don't you? You do. Lift the weights and shit. I tried that, man. I tried. I started lifting weights, you know, because it's good for you, you know, and the thing. And this is what I found out with the weightlifting. Um, there, you know, there's always a bunch of guys, but they all have a job. Like one guy, his job is lift the weights, obviously. Right? Second guy, his job, yell at the guy lifting the weights. Right? Come on, two more, one more, one more. Right? Other guys, their job just stand around, talk about how good they look. That's what they do all the time. Like, yeah, man, we're working with pigs, right? Yeah, no, it's good, it's good, it's pretty solid, right? That's good, that's good, right? And I said, yeah, it's like nice, right? I've been working, right? They used to call it gay, and I was way later. You know? 
I needed to start working out. I did. I needed to start working out because I did 23 and Me and I was too Pacific Real. So I thought, it's time. It's time. And I always go to the work. Where you work out? Where you work out? Powerhouse. Powerhouse. Well, of course you do. <laughs> Powerhouse. Ain't nobody working out at, you know, chalet. Nobody's working out at that. Summer home. There's no gym called summer home. Powerhouse. <laughs> Right, and they always, I work out at the, the Y downtown, and they always, you come in, and the first thing they say after you, you know, you check in or whatever, it's like, enjoy your workout. Who the hell put enjoy and workout next to each other? <laughs> right, it's like, enjoy your colonoscopy. <laughs> enjoy your jail stay. Nobody enjoys that. Took a step class. You ever take a step class, Papa House? You ever do that? No, of course you didn't, because you think it's for pussies. Fuck you. <laughs> it's hard. Step is hard. You would think it would just be you step up, you step down, you step, because it's a step. And then they fancy it up. You ever take a step class? They get all crazy, right? Making up shit. I've never heard of this. I've done many line dances. I didn't see any of this shit in the electric slot. Because it's just names, they just make up names. Like, we're going downtown, going downtown, going downtown, going downtown, going downtown, going downtown. Pick up the dollar, pick up, what are you talking about? Call your mama back. Call your mama back. Call your mama back. Life's too busy. Life's too busy. What are you talking about? I'm broke. That's bullshit right there. I'm happy about it. You got a 401k21? No. Don't laugh at me. Seriously, if you can get together, this is not bullshit. You know, the people who got money, which is most of y'all is whack. Uh, except for you. Sorry, you both. But, uh, Talk to people, y'all got this shit going on, okay? Um, now what you do, you get like a grand, you put it in the back, don't touch it, right? You're 21, 40 years from now, you'll be a millionaire. That's just how compound interest works. I didn't do that, nobody told me to do that. I'm 54 years old, my 401k is a Powerball ticket. I'm just trying to say, <laughs> my retirement plan is a slippery floor at the Walmart. I'm just trying to tell you what is happening. I'm gonna be walking around 65 years old with a spritz bottle and flip flops. <laughs> professional broke person, you know what that means, right? Time to get hard enough to eat a mayonnaise sandwich. <laughs> oh, this, oh, that brought back some memories. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not talking about you fancy ass miracle with people. That's not what I'm talking about. Right, how many people clap if you ever had a mayonnaise sandwich? Who's ever had something you got 21 enough on a mayonnaise sandwich? No, you got you spoiled him. Okay. No, there's many ways to be broke. Just because you haven't had a mayonnaise sandwich, there's a lot of ways to be broke. If you ever just started chewing a piece of gum, you just took it out of the wrapper, and then dinner comes, and you save it, you are a professional broke person. Right? If you, if you ever uh, cut the end off a of cheese because it was hard, you are a professional broke person. If you ever smelled milk to see if it was all right rather than looking at the expiration date, <laughs> Okay, it doesn't say sell by, it says best by August 23rd. <laughs> My milk don't have to be the best. <laughs> this is good enough milk right here. <laughs> right. If you, if you ever took a bunch of little bitty soaps and squeezed them together trying to make a great big soap, <laughs> you are a professional broke person. <laughs> If you ever added water to any bottle containing a liquid, make that liquid last long. You are a professional broke person. Works in everything. Ketchup, shampoo, gym bean. You didn't realize scotch and water is financial plan, did you? I'm not good with the tech. You're probably on the Snapgram and the Instachat and all that stuff. I don't even Google, because I can't spell. Yeah, you ever misspell something on Google? Make you feel like the biggest idiot in the world. Big blue italic leather. Did you mean Pacific Ocean? <laughs> Maybe I was looking for one specific ocean, okay? You don't know me, Google. I don't text. I can't text with it. Look at this hand, sir. Who can text with this? This won't fit on a tablet. <laughs> And every time I text, I text the wrong thing. I'm trying to be hip, right? Like, like I was at my aunt's house for Thanksgiving, right? She makes this sweet potato pie. It's ridiculous, right? So I was texting my friend. I said, hey, man, this sweet potato pie is good AF. 
right? You know AF, but you don't fucking shit. Uh, <laughs> right, and so I did that, and my aunt's looking over my shoulder, she's like, what's AF mean? Well, I can't tell my aunt what AF means, she's 84, the kill <laughs> So I said, uh, it means and fancy. <laughs> this sweet potato pie is good and fancy. <laughs> Which I just think we, that's what it should be, because that would make shit so much better, right? Like, man, it is hot and fancy. <laughs> man, that girl is sexy and fancy. <laughs> she makes me horny and fancy. <laughs> and I told my aunt that, right? I said it means uh, and fancy. She said, AF mean and fancy. I said, yeah. Well, she said, that's stupid as fuck. <laughs> you guys are excellent. Thank you for coming tonight.